in this video we are going to have a look with the nautical constraint in whichever field you will be applying this nautical constraint will ensure that there cannot be a null value taken in that particular column by the time we will apply this nautical constraint we have to make sure that we are adding this constraint only on the column level as table level application of nautical constraint is not possible so let's see practically how to add a nautical constraint in a table as we have already discussed this create table statement in our earlier videos now let's start putting the constraints and here in this video we are going to add the nautical constraint so let's say in the first name column of this table students i want to apply the constraint so how, how can i do that right after when you are giving the definition of this particular column before the comma you can just start writing like constraint constraint name let's say student underscore first name underscore not null anything logical and then the type of constraint that is the not null in this case you can simply pass any type of constraint in the same way just by passing the changing the type of constraint like unique primary key to anything but we'll discuss about them later here you can also remove the constraint keyword and constraint name altogether it is optional but in in case you want to manage means disable or drop the constraint later you need that name and it will be easier in that particular case if you give this name now this is how you can add the constraint in a particular column not in constraint in a column while creating a table but in case the table is already created and you decided to pass the nautical constraint later how can you do that let's see let's say i want to alter the table tbl employees as here we have a column called email id and i want to make it compulsory so as you can see it is allowing null so i just want to add a not null constraint right there how can i do that alter column then column name say email id and then the data type varchar 50 and right after that you can say not null so as soon as i will execute that you see command completed successfully and now let's refresh this one and you will see this email id is now not null similarly as soon as i will execute this particular command the not null constraint will be added to the first name let's see that here i executed and let's refresh the table now here I got the students table if I expand the columns you will find the first name is a not null so this is how you can apply the not null constraint in the table either by creating or by altering 